Hello guys, welcome back to Soft Mode. Today I'm joined by Sexus Sadis. Hello, what's up and welcome. Last time we talked to her with her while she was in a coma. We got some help from Yamato and from Yamari mm -hmm. and from Nari. And this time, yep. fuck this girl. Guess I was still asleep below the waist. My head, my body, everything was so heavy. <sighs> and that starts with the heart. That's what Nari said. I can't give up. The promise match Yamato. Eat, sleep, the promise match Nari. I would keep off. I need to welcome you back at full strength. I can't let this sandwich go to waste, even if I have to force feed myself. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> My stuff is fighting me like a monster, but I'm fine. Fine. I just need to be a little more hungry than I can eat. I refrain from forcing it down for now. I'm nowhere near finished. If I collapsed, that would let everyone down. And I were, couldn't welcome you back with a smile. That wasn't an option. Keep it together, man. Fine. I'm fine. Slow deep breath. If I'm just making it to class, I can sit down for a while. Above all, I couldn't burn myself any more than I was. Focus, keep it together, stay strong. Alright. Mm -hmm. I won't lose, I won't quit. I would see her smiling face again. Yep. For your boy, it's a termination! Back here. There you. The reason I came to the island is because I didn't want to be a burden on my relative. It might not, uh, not ease your pain, but I feel like I can at least understand your feelings. I lost my parents too. Hey, enough about my parents, you lost someone important. Hmm. I never asked, but do you have siblings? I have a little sister named May. After we lost our parents, our aunt and uncle took us in. Nora is the daughter, making her my cousin. <laughs> you know, so I kind of try not to make trouble for them. It's a bit tactless, but it's hard to consider them family. I mean, my aunt is such a good person, so I can't complain. But you know, sometimes this gets to me. That's why I came here. I want to do well. If I could be independent and my aunt could hear how well I was doing, I may and my aunt could live a little easy. That's why I'm trying so hard. But a lot happened right when I got here and that's what's rough. Like I'm sure you know, but the whole pigeon fiasco took it, uh, its toll on me. Despite that, I thought I could find happiness here in the island where no one is ever unhappy. As I think that way after I met you. It's all thanks to you, so I need to make that up to you. You know you? Just once more or more, show me that smiling face, once more with me. Eh, uh, excuse me, visiting hour is coming to a close. Oh well, sorry, but I have to go. But I, you, uh, I'll be back tomorrow. He mm -hmm. doesn't even talk anymore, and now he only thinks. Hmm. Saturday? Oh, my neck hurt, my shoulders and back are also throbbing. My head was still foggy, so I had no clue what it was happening to my body. But fortunately, the pain in my joints told me that my senses were returning. Huh? This is... Yay! Huh? Without waking... Uh, you? Ah, okay. Once I finally had a deep sleep, enough to forget where I, where I was. Being sleep deprived, I saw to my limits, but I say something to rejoice with though. So you came to visit her too, Ami? Mm-hmm. With me. Oh, so this time, this time we don't actually ask her, she just comes to us she's willingly. Like, she's like, bitch, why don't you let me help you? Uh. Get a brain! Wow, <laughs> Iosrud is really the fucking couple, right guys, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but that, that's what I say, like, why why is her route so much different from the other three girls? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> like, either either this was the first route and it was like, no, this is way too long, let's make the other shorter, or the, the creators of this just love Junibio for some reason, yeah. or, like, yeah. Because... You mean you know why? <laughs> ah, sorry, but because. <clears throat> no, it's too early to apologize. I still don't know what you mean. Could the cause of your coma have something to do with you? <laughs> Just give it to me straight. Will you, will you wake up? How? <laughs> ow, ow. My old body cracked like popcorn. Mm -hmm. I can't be calm right now. Uh, even more, more so now that I know we can save her. Yeah. You, you is just my special person. I'll do anything if you so. I could tell something was odd by the way she was acting. Panicking or rushing with her wouldn't help. Can you tell me? I'll hear you out in the land. Dream world? 
Wow. So that's why she's Chuni. Hmm. But then again, what is it that makes her do? Is it like some other type of thing? Because it's still fantasy. Like, yeah. Well, I think this is. If you actually think about it, all four girls had a special kind of quirk. Yeah. Yeah, well, like, but that, that's, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Maybe, maybe, but I, I can agree to that. There may be some fantasy elements, like, Hasuki yeah. or more said Haruhi had the uh, power of adaption of their directly transferring into another uh -huh. person. Um, Nara had the power of granting her own wish and changing her own mind. Hi, Has uh, Himari, as you could see the numbers, but also change the numbers, and yeah. you is able to view her thoughts in the in dreams. Yeah. <laughs> but like, I, I said a few in a few episodes ago, or a few episodes ago, that I don't think fantasy elements should fit into this, and I... Yeah. But the thing is, we have taken this for a sci-fi thing, right? Yeah. But we have never actually been confirmed what the fuck the happiness system is. Yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> but I mean, it, it can be sci-fi with fantasy, though. Sci-fantasy. <laughs> yeah, sci-fi sci with fantasy elements. I mean, if we just look at Clanad, it was like normal... Normal life with fantasy. Yeah, no, I would call it normal life with bullshit. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> oh my god, don't remind me of Planet, please. <laughs> I, I always thought she had the order wrong, but she really wrote and then crafted her dreams. Hmm. No way. That can be possible for her after she got the Davis. I guess it was like me being able to see happiness levels. Hmm. So, by auto of elimination, right? Yeah. Our person should have an ability to, other than seeing the numbers. Maybe. Our, like, I have a feeling that our character might have something other we just haven't realized hmm. for some reason. Because we never really thought about the fantasy element of this. Yeah, well, true. But never mind. The answer was sent to Riverbank. This is my reason. That's why she was uh, writing, writing so desperately, knowing that I could sympathize with her painfully well. So now you must be meeting her father in her dream. Hmm. You were mumbling about it last time I saw her, that she needs to write or she won't be able to see him. All right, we're wasting time then. Let's ju uh, just take the negative phone. Why? The number? What would her number be? Huh? Hmm. I suddenly recall the time when she broke up with me. Even now I remember clearly how low her number was then. Now it's... it's higher. Hmm. That's why she won't wake up. Wait, so if whatever she writes in the novel will come true, right? No, no, it won't come true, it's just it come true in it yeah, comes yeah, true in her dream. Whatever you write will happen in her dream. Yeah. Why not find the novel and then write himself into the story so he can come in and talk to her? Yeah. I was beginning to realize how important her father must have been if that was the case. Mm -hmm. Shit. No, that can't you you can die. What should I do? This must not... Cannot! I never let that... Advice from Eo's life hangs in the balance here. Can be happy, right? And my happiness? I'm desperately fighting for it. Even when we're misguided or have a lapse in judgment, as long as we're happy in the end, everything will be fine. In concern... Just continuing my life here with you, even if pulling you out of the dream will take away her happiness, I'll give that happiness back to her. If she were to die, then that would be impossible. Tell me how we can save her. What gives? Why the solemn expression? Yeah. Go to heaven, I believe it. Because it's simple. Because this is the island where no one is ever unhappy. I believe that, you know. You have to believe that more than anyone else, right? 
Tell her, then tell me. How can I be happy? Oh, that's a nice ass CG. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, it's pretty good. I move with her eyes closed, vibrating gently from head to toe. Her body was then enveloped in a faint light. Oh, he's gonna enter okay. the dream world. I lay my body gently next to yours. That's what the villain said made me aware of my pent up exhaustion. Hmm. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. Link starter. <laughs> Fuck you. I just had to. Fuck I just you. had to. I just had to. Fuck you. <laughs> I just had to. It was so perfect set up and everything. Link starter. <laughs> yes. Just had to. <laughs> Sorry, that was that was gold, man. <laughs> Get on with it. I'm physically unable to simply watch uh, you die before my eyes. I'm fine. I bring it back, I promise, because I'm the motherfucking protagonist! Yeah. <laughs> with this quote, I will get the plot armor of Sword Art Online. Link yep. is done! <laughs> Thank you, Ami. <laughs> Wait, did she say it? She said Link, yes. I thought she said Link is doctor. No, no, no. So she said Link. Oh, the moment I uh, fucking epilepsy. <laughs> <laughs> the moment I'm a I'm in Saint Kurt's work to make my eyes a uh, hot wave out to my body. Hmm. So this is like virtual reality, I would assume. My slowly went wide. I got us on the brink of a deep sleep, a feeling of tranquility. Experience tranquility, motherfucker. So mm, I will guess what? the landscape is. If it's a drawn ass demon landscape we're gonna see now, I will fucking hit my walls. <laughs> uh, what was this sensation? I feel so droopy, like waking up from a terrible night's rest. Yeah. It was so bright, my eyes wouldn't open. Where was this? Little by little, my eyes adjusted. Hmm. I will actually accept this. Whoa. Yeah. I will accept this. Whoa! There's no pee. <laughs> right range of cracks. Ice and snow, as far as I could see, it was so real that there was no way it was a dream. Not to think about it, when I took a peek at the US novel, she left no detail out of this place. Right. The beginning of the novel was a super detailed outline of the world. She wrote it intently on every dangerous swear as kind of layer of the Lord of Darkness, but I never thought it could be this arti articul articulated. Articulated? Uh, yeah. Articulated? Despite the frigid environment, strange enough, I felt no cold. What was going on? I was supposed to be wearing summer clothes? What? Oh, what the hell? I had armor and strange decorations and even a sword of some kind in my waist. It was as if I was... Hmm. Well, you. I just heard what I knew was you, so I was like... You, hmm. where are you? Hmm. Ew! Ew. It was no mistake. That was Ew's voice. But something was off about it. She's speaking without emotion, like she was uh, unconscious. I get it. Nah, no, not entirely, but I had a hand on the situation. This world is not only the world of the novel, but the world she decides as well. Of course, what she decides most is spend her days with her father. But that wasn't all. Shining One referred to me and released her from a curse, which means she wants me to save her. Before I, I, I was second guessing my egotistical decisions to save her, but now it was clear I was on the right path. It was a quest from you, and now I was an acolyte or a soul friend. I was a he he hero. Yeah. All right. There was no hero in the novel you were uh, working on. Yet here I was, being a novelist as such. Which meant, an anomaly in a novel like me actually had a place in you's heart. <laughs> what the heck, even at a time like this, I was overcome with joy. Wait for me, you. I had a time limit, and so I rushed off. Hmm. Man, how far is it? I knew I couldn't just waltz in easily. But considering how much I walked, my goal still seemed like a mirage in the distance. Probably snow at my feet. This was enough snow to trap me under if I fell. And if I died before reaching you, I need to first psych up myself up. It's like a game, if it wasn't. This uh, was in the EO Dream World. We were linked through the paradises, and I had to remember that it had a real world effect on both her and me. I couldn't budge this. We were going home together. I had to push on the castle. Uh, to the castle. Through the ice and snow. Alright. All I could do was trudge on. I had no intention of returning and would overcome all those in order to reach her. I 
I would take the sword in hand and save you. This is my ultimate calling after being Heraklion all this time. Hmm. What is that? A band of monsters? This should be surprised by the West danger nonetheless. I had no way of discerning my level, stats or anything, and I had no guarantee the monsters would be at my level. And I think I'll to return to. Wait. Can you hear me, Guardian? <laughs> guide, guiding world. Oh, it answered my call, and it felt like I could hear it more clearly than before. Can you tell me the difference in our fighting abilities? I see. Oh, the meaning of the words continue to bring up me happiness. I wanted to talk to this one forever. Hmm. That person resembles someone. Ah, in front of the row of the, of the pigeon, the guy who was drooling over her and surrounding him too, I vaguely recognized him. <laughs> <laughs> I was suddenly crackling with power, with confidence. It was dozen of them, but losing was the last thing on my mind. Some were kneeling, others scrawling, and all were, all, all were crying out, Sorry guys, I'm sorry, that's it. I'm saving you. Let's do this! Oh. I'll, take, I'll take you down and summon this uh, Dark Lost Castle. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I well. I think this is a good place. Okay, so thanks okay. for watching, guys. See you guys next time. Bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs>